This is six-year-old Cooper Wood. He was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy earlier this year when his parents applied for a one-time gene therapy infusion that Cooper is medically approved for. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan denied that treatment in just one day. Blue Cross Blue Shield is just letting our kids have a, a death sentence without giving a second thought. Parents Kaylin and Ryan said a diagnosis earlier this year changed their life forever. Their son Cooper faces a terminal illness. Instead of muscle tissue repairing, it's just replaced with fatty tissue. So that's what causes deterioration. Um, weakening of the muscles eventually, you know, he loses the ability to walk. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a rare genetic disorder that causes weakness and damage of the muscles. Right now, Cooper's only treatment is steroids, but that only slows down the muscle deterioration. And over time, the disease becomes deadly. What does his future look like with just these steroids? Um, in a wheelchair? He'll be in a wheelchair he's... by 12. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll lose the ability to walk before he's a teenager. Um, in the teenage years, his organs will be affected more uh, eventually. Ultimately, organ failure. Most children don't live past their 20s. But there is another option. It's called a levitus. It's a $3.2 million one-time gene therapy that Cooper has been medically approved for. It gives you a little piece of this big protein he's missing, and it will start repairing his muscles. It can't get back the muscle damage he's lost, but it can repair the ones he has. This Athens family has insurance through Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan because that is where their job is headquartered. They applied for this treatment on August 20th, and by the next day, the insurance company already denied it. He deserves more than one day of deliberation. The insurance company told Kaylin that Elevitus is considered investigational for all indications due to a lack of information showing benefits with its treatment, which is similar to what they told me when I reached out for a statement. However, the FDA approved this treatment for individuals four years and older with a confirmed mutation in the DMD gene back in June. Part of the approval was based on an evaluation in multiple studies, which enrolled 218 male patients with Duchenne. It is a slap in the face, not only to us, but most offensively to the boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy that spent their entire lives in clinical, clinical trials that have led to the research like gene therapies. Vanderbilt Hospital appealed the insurance's decision, but time is critical. And every day is just a little bit more loss of muscles that we need him to keep. The insurance company shouldn't be able to tell us that what time frame we should have with our children. Cooper's parents have started an email so people who would like to help him get treatment or may have resources can contact them. They also want to hear from anyone who has a similar story. That email can be found on our website at newschannel9.com.